there, Kaleidoscope Clan. How's everyone doing? It's Mariposa Ma'at. And today, I'm gonna share with you something very top secret. I've had it for a few decades, okay? And it's one of my secrets to how beautiful I am. <laughs> the health, okay? It's all about the health. Anyone who knows me, since I was in my 20s, I got serious about my health and Yo, it's not a game, it's not a joke. Back then, people kind of thought it was, you know, as far as cutting meat out and things like that. And it's much deeper than just having an issue with meat. It's about like the chemicals they put in the meat, how they kill the meat, as far as all those fear um, energies that are in, you know, they torture the animals, they treat them bad, they're not, so anyway. It's not a game, it's not a joke. You need to have clean water, you need to have clean air, you need to have food that is natural, not GMO. You have to have, um, you know, no pesticides and poisons that you're taking in, right? Simple. Um, so, like type A, like I am, we flourish more when we eat less things that congest our body and that are hard to digest like meat. So that is why, there's a reason for everything, you know? It's like I remember when I became vegan in the 90s and boy did I catch hell. Like people really acted like, I don't know, I was doing something crazy. I was so crazy. I wouldn't change my diet, but look at me now. Look at me now. Hey, I'm 53, baby. And I look good. I know this. And I know that it's because of all the work I put into myself. So all you young people out there, you too, if you start now, can, you know, look much younger than your age. And for all you older people out there, you can get started. And it takes seven years for a body to completely change. You know, for all your cells to be renewed. So just know that, that you have the power of health. You have it. So no one else can give it to you. It is a daily responsibility, okay? Yes, you could hire somebody to cook for you, but I would, I would, I would tell you that you should always have your own keys to your health. So no matter what, you know, that's part of the reason why I'm so independent because I can travel anywhere and I can find the healthy food. I can, I don't, I don't eat off the street, okay? And even with restaurants, I'm very selective, you know? Um, yeah, sometimes you just have to be that B, you know, when it comes to looking out for yourself and what goes into your body, okay? It's all about how much do you love yourself? How much do you value yourself? Do you deserve the best? You know? This though, what I'm sharing with you today is a very serious life hack for me. I have lived off of it, I've raised my children on it, and, um, it's critical in my health, okay? Because I don't eat things that don't taste good to me. So I'm about to share with you my favorite salad dressing recipe that will make just about anything taste good. It's also a great marinade on meat, if you like meat. Um, it's great for flavor overall. Okay, so here we have a delicious salad that I have created. All organic, you know, lettuce, sprouts, tomatoes, onions, avocado, and pickled beets, which are very good. Pickled inside of apple cider vinegar, okay? Um, and I think I've actually shared that before. I have one of my videos a long time ago, maybe like a year ago or two. Um, how you make the pickled beets. You just boil them and then you put them in apple cider vinegar with salt and put in the refrigerator. Okay? So anyway, 
That is what I, oh, cilantro. Don't forget the cilantro, because that's very important to get metals out of your system, which we're inundated with all the time. Okay. So, here are the ingredients. Okay, so, of course you have your oil and vinegar. Again, apple, organic apple cider vinegar only, okay? And you want it with what they call the mother on the bottom. There should be stuff in it. It shouldn't be clear. If it's clear, then it's not the right kind of vinegar. Okay, so you have, I have apple cider vinegar. This is actually sunflower oil, which is known to be very good for heart health. Okay, you can look that up. But you can use any oil, of course, olive oil, of course, grapeseed oil, um, what else? You know, choose your oil wisely. Make sure that it's cold pressed, okay? So that is what I'm using, sunflower and apple cider vinegar. That's what we start out with. Then um, let's just say the salt, right? Everybody needs salt, or most people like salt. I mean, salt is kind of, key as far as taste and also we need salt in our bodies you know a lot of people might think that like you need to cut down on salt and you know some people eat too much salt but you have to have salt it's very important the most important thing is that it is healthy salt so this is pink Himalayan salt okay from the Himalayas, it's a higher vibration than um, Morton's and those kinds of salts. Those salts will burn your insides when they're iodized like that. What they do, the process of it, is very bad for you. So it burns on the inside and that's what causes the high blood pressure and all that. So it's about the quality of salt. So I love pink Himalayan salt. There's also a black salt that's very good for you. It smells like eggs, kind of, but it's one of the best salts for your health. And I mean, of course, um, sea salt, I guess you need to see what sea it's coming from right now or where the salt is coming from is, is very important, okay? And make sure that the pink Himalayan salt is actually real and comes from the Himalayas. I mean, I'm sure now they have fake pink salt too. They probably take white salt and put in some red coloring because that is how unscrupulous the powers that be and the FDA and all these people are. You know. I hate to be the whistleblower on that if you don't know. Okay, curry. You don't have to have curry. You could just do um, turmeric, but why not add the little flavor of curry anyway and all the spices, you know? So I'm a little curry in there for a little flavor. Of course you have to have your Italian seasoning and it should be organic. This says non-GMO. It doesn't say organic, but you know, you get what you can get, okay? So yes, Italian seasoning. We love basil, oregano, um, thyme, and they, it usually has, um, what's the other one? cardamom? No, it doesn't. Anyway, Italian seasoning. Okay. Garlic. Garlic is key to life. Okay. It keeps the vampires away. <laughs> no, but it's really good for your health. It's good. It's very, very good for heart health, for immunity. Yeah, which all of these herbs are, okay? Look them up. I'm not gonna tell you the benefits of all of them, but for sure, oregano is very good for immunity. Basil, they're, they're high vibration herbs. It's not just about your body, it's about your spirit. So I personally put as many herbs in my food as possible for flavor and to get the high vibration and the health benefits, okay? Cayenne pepper. One of those, for me, I put cayenne in a lot. Also, really good for your immunity. 
okay? Keeps you healthy. Kills, you know, um, bacteria, virus, stuff like that, okay? And the secret, my favorite ingredient that I always keep on hand, like if you don't know about nutritional yeast, you're missing out. Okay, you're not living life fully because nutritional yeast, for those of us who have been vegan, you know, I went vegan in my 20s, so it became a staple in all of my food because it has a cheesy taste when you add salt to it, okay? So um, it can replace the taste of cheese in a lot of things if you know how to cook with it, okay? Um, like you can make cheese popcorn with it delicious but it has B vitamins B vitamins so when you don't eat meat it's really important that you are not depleted you do need B vitamins okay so it's really important for your mental health for your development like of your Meat, the meat in your body needs B vitamins, okay? But yeah, without B vitamins, you won't be able to think well. It can really cause mental illness if you don't have enough B vitamins. But, again, my favorite thing about it is that it tastes freaking awesome. Okay, so these are the ingredients. And I'm gonna go ahead, like I'm not one of those people who like mixes it all together in a bottle anymore. I just put it in on top of my salad. So I'm gonna show you how I do that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little of each and, and stir up the salad, okay? So, all right, so here we go. And aren't these marigolds beautiful? These are, are is this calendula? They're related regardless, okay? These are the flowers that Mexico um, uses in the El Dia de los Muertos tradition. We are now coming up on El Dia de los Muertos, a time that is not weird and scary like Halloween. It's not, you know, about um, mocking death and suffering and pain and stuff like that. But it's actually about honoring the dead, the ancestors. So it's kind of like, the, um, the energy, you know, this is just a little commercial break on this. The energy of it is reminiscent of almost like Christmas, but you invite your ancestors to enjoy, you have the altars and you have their favorite foods and stuff like that. It's all respect, okay? So when they, I think I've talked about, I have talked about this before, but the skulls in the culture here are not about looking scary, they actually, at least in the Mayan culture for Pinal Plashan, which is the name of their El Dia de los Muertos, they actually kept the skulls of their family members inside the floor and they would decorate them beautifully like they do the sugar skulls. Really? And put them out. Now, I don't know if that's still taking place, but who knows, maybe in the countryside they still do that. It's against the law, I think, right? To keep skulls of your family members now. But anyway, I just want to represent for the culture on that. I, it's a beautiful culture that I'm very proud to experience here. Okay, so here we have our delicious salad. Yeah! Right? And we're just gonna go ahead Take a little oil, boop, boop, boop. okay, not too much. Okay, then we take a little apple cider vinegar. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Now mind you, the beets that I have in here were marinated in apple cider vinegar. And if you don't want to use vinegar, you can also use lemon. It's up to you, it's a different, it, lemon might be a little less sour, I guess. Um, the beauty of the apple cider vinegar is that it's fermented, so it's a probiotic. But lemons are very, very healing too, so los dos. Both of them are fine. Okay, so the Italian seasoning, yes, 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 we get a little of that. 
And so you can just kind of put as much as you like. I like, I like seasoning, okay? I love garlic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put garlic on top of the entire thing. I'm gonna take my salt and sprinkle that on top. Okay. Gonna take the curry, sprinkle that on top. Okay. The red pepper, which I enjoy. So I mean, you know, it's up to you. Not everybody likes hot food. But I would recommend for your health for you to try to take a little of the red pepper. Black pepper irritates your insides more, or not more, it irritates your insides, okay? So I prefer, I don't really use black pepper unless it's, you know, consciously to activate turmeric, but you can use ginger. So I use ginger with my turmeric more. And then I only have a little nutritional yeast here, but I have another bag, okay, to back it up, so don't trip. And I'm just gonna pour all of this in here on the top, which again, is almost like cheese, right? Okay, so that's everything. And I'm gonna take the fork and stir it up. Mm, yeah, make sure it gets all over. Yeah, so yeah, you don't have to make salad dressing. In, you can make salad dressing in advance. Just shake it up. I'm just, I'm just old school, and I don't need to do it anymore because it's such a way of life for me that I just do it in the moment. Okay, so we have a delicious, nutritious salad that if you start your meals with, this is one, a sprout. Can't be sprouts, okay? My family was in the sprout business and I have a family member that managed their, their health. They had a disease, a very serious disease by eating a lot of, by going raw, but also by eating sprouts. Okay, so. Mm-mm-mm. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a bite to confirm that it is what it's supposed to be. I'm a foodie, so I don't play around. Take a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mm. Listen. Mm. Mm -mm. It has the avocado, the beets, the onion. Tomatoes, cucumbers. Yeah. This is, this is what food is supposed to be. Now, after you eat this, then you can go on to eat the rest of your food. But if you eat my superfood salad dressing, that's what I call it, you will see a difference in your health because just by eating this, it kicks off your metabolism, okay? And it makes sure that you get all these nutrients in before you even eat food. So, it will prevent you from overeating junky stuff that you don't need or not. Like, let's say a sa uh, um, pasta, right? Pasta's not junky, but you don't want to be full of pasta and meat without something like this. So you eat this first, and then it will enable you to be able to eat the correct portions of a pasta or something that has meat, okay? You do this first. And I raised my family like this, I raised my children like this, because I was a freaking awesome mother, outside of the fact that um, <laughs> I chose the wrong father. But I was very attentive. And so, um, these are the kinds of details that mothers, nurturers within families, so men too, if they are the, the nurturers within the family. Let me close this. These are the kind of details that we need to be looking at, okay? The details in your food. And I'm gonna start talking a little bit more about food just because, I mean, I 
know a lot. <laughs> And um, I understand that it's time for me to start sharing because people are actually looking for this stuff. Oh. Um, at one point, I was going to patent this or whatever. I guess on YouTube, it can go ahead and automatically say, I've documented that this is my superfood salad dressing. <laughs> it might end up in one of my books one day, but I wanted to go ahead and share this. As I was about to make it, I was like, hmm. Let me just go ahead and share because people need to take care of their health, okay? Make your health your first priority, whether that be your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health. Because if you have to be here, we're here. So the way that you're going to have the best experience on this plain is if you're in good health. You want to be able to get up and do whatever you need to do. And so for me, it's very important to my Aries moon. <laughs> okay? So yeah. Cheers to you and your health. Don't say I didn't give you anything. Okay? So, Kaleisco Plan, good eating to you. Until next time, this is many posts of my aunt. I encourage you to continue to embody the sacred transformation. Until next time, peace. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. How we get down, baby. Introducing my first published book. Oh, yeah! To be a butterfly, the caterpillar has to die. Poetic expressions of transformation from the cocoon. Yes, after five long years of cocooning, in the Mayan jungle, I finally emerged and earned my wings. And just like the title says, this dark night of the soul wasn't always pretty. Within the 144 pages of this epic work, you will find 30 passionate poems that are sure to be thought-provoking, stimulating, and even triggering at times. Welcome to my world. Buy your copy now on Kindle.